Hello YouTube, today I have another unboxing video for you guys today. And today is an uh, unboxing of a game that I have been waiting for for a while now. If you read the title, obviously probably everybody has, you know what this is. And today we're going to be unboxing the brand new uh, South Park Stick of Truth, and that's not even fitting in frame. Um, yeah, so this is the Grand Wizard Edition with the Cartman figure as you can see here, which has some really cool packaging. Unfortunately, mine has suffered a little damage in shipping because I got mine from GameStop, but I don't blame GameStop for that. I blame whoever shipped to GameStop, and it's only one crease right there. The other sides are fine, so everything is, is all good. This is a pretty big box. Uh, it's not too terribly big, but... Uh, so, let's look at the box, shall we? Uh, at the front, you can see Cartman through the uh, clear plastic, and it says PS3 at the top, and Stick of Truth at the bottom. This side, you have Stan and Butters. And on the back, it tells you what you get in the Grand Wizards edition. You get the Kid Robot Grand Wizard Cartman figure. You get the Cartman hand-drawn map. And you also get the Ultimate Fellowship Pack, along with a copy of the game. Um, you have the rating down here, which has a number of different things that it's rated mature for, which is pretty typical of something that would be South Park. And then you have Kyle and Princess Kenny on the, this side. On the top of the Grand Wizards edition, you have a UFO, um, which is a from the first... Well, I'm not sure if that's the same one from the first episode, but um, it's referencing the first episode, which is pretty cool. On the bottom, there's probably nothing. Oh, on the bottom, it has a South Park sign. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect anything to be on the bottom. All right, so yeah. Let's get right on to opening this up. Okay. We are going to cut. You can't even see it, but I'm cutting the top tape. So just trust me that that's what I'm doing. All right, so we cut the top tape. And this is really hard to film since this is bigger than most of the stuff that I have to film. All right, let me pull this up really quick. All right. So the inside of the packaging is just purple, so nothing special there. And uh, the Cartman figure is actually, as you can see here, in two pieces of plastic. I'm going to leave those on. I'm not going to unbox the Cartman figure since you can already see them through the plastic. And because I like to have um, my, package, my box intact as much as possible. Since the Cartman figure is actually a part of the box, uh, in a way, with the clear cutout window, I'm going to leave it like that, which is why I'm not going to unbox that. Um, I will pull out the PlayStation 3 copy of the game. There's the back. You have Butters up there looking all scary and ferocious. It's great. Butters is my favorite. And we also have the... Oh, this is very nice. I was not expecting this. We have a very thick, kind of like papyrus type uh, paper, is what it kind of feels like. Um, very, no And this is the uh, Cartman's hand-drawn map. It's, it's a thick, textured paper. It kind of feels like a, a fake papyrus is what they were going for, maybe. Um, but, or construction paper, probably, is more accurate for this. And uh, here's the map. It's very, uh, it's normal, probably standard poster size is what it looks like. But you have everything on here. You have the cool wizard's uh, kingdom of Koopa Keep right there, which would be uh, Cartman's house, of course, with the stick of truth is actually right there, as you can see. Um, you have the undead legions. You even have the UFO up top. Um, you have Church and Stark's Pawn and all these other good stuff. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I've been looking forward to this too for a long time. I, I love South Park, so I... I, when I when I heard about this game, I just I could not resist getting this version of this game. So yeah, there is the in, uh, in the bottom corner you have uh, Cartman right, uh, right around the compass, and then you, you have Kyle. Oh God, that's great. Uh, that's he sh I think he's shooting Stars of David. Yes, he is. He's shooting Stars of David. That's perfect. All right, so um, now we're gonna open up the copy of the game, which I will do right now. And and we'll get 
this part. All right, there we go. Uh, game is opened. I'm going to open it up and see if there's the DLCs in there. Yeah, it's a good thing. I took that off camera. Take off of that. You have the ultimate... Uh, so here's the, um, the disc. The disc has actually pretty disappointing disc art. I was hoping it'd have, like, this uh, right here, but on the disc. But instead, we just have the UFO and a bunch of letters and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's the manual. Let's see if the manual's of anything, or is it just a sleeve of paper? We shall find out when I can pull the manual up. Okay, come on. There we go. Um, is it an actual manual? <laughs> okay, really? This is a piece of paper on here that is, it tells you your warranty and technical support, and then it tells you how to access the manual in-game. That seems kind of redundant, doesn't it? Printing that out in every language instead of just printing a short manual. I don't understand that. But, uh, yeah. And then you, it also comes with the Ultimate Fellowship Pack DLC. So, um, pretty cool. Uh, there we go. And that's pretty much everything you get. Uh, there wasn't much in this collector's edition. It wasn't much more expensive. I think it was $80. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think it was totally worth it, though. Uh, I'm super excited, so there you go. There's, there's everything you get. Um, the map, the game, and the figure. And with, of course, the nice display box. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Uh, let me know if you guys were looking forward to this game, or what you guys think about this game. Um, yeah, so, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.